Well, the key question, why should I care in Austin? Well, there are a couple of very good reasons. Take a look. First, missiles. Then, warplanes. The night sky exploding into light. The targets, ISIS strongholds and a group affiliated with Al-Qaeda. These terrorists have established a safe haven in Syria to plan external attacks, construct and test improvised explosive devices. Fred Burton is vice president for intelligence at Austin-based geopolitical intelligence firm Stratfor. What we don't know so far, but I think it will eventually come out, as to how far along they were with the plot, as well as what kind of improvised explosive device they might have been thinking about building to bypass airport security. It's about time. Republican Congressman John Carter says the strikes are a good start. I hope we do it daily until we have softened the target enough that they, they are not going to be growing and then we need to ultimately destroy the target. I personally believe it, that we're going to have to have boots on the ground eventually, at least to help aim the bombs. The question of a larger ground war is what I'm concerned about. I want to be sure that Americans are not doing all the bleeding and all the paying for this war. Democrat Lloyd Doggett says the U.S. must continue to build its coalition. So far, nearly a half dozen Arab states and keep Americans out of any ground combat. We've been there and done that. We need to learn from past mistakes that that will only help the recruiting for this terrorist organization and one terrorist organization will be replaced by another. In the immediate aftermath, another round of ISIS videos seems inevitable and Burton says knowing who's watching them here could be critical. These kinds of attacks